Do you remember not that long ago when the FTC very publicly lost the case against Microsoft and Activision Blizzard? Well, guess what? They are reviving their own proceeding and will be pursuing the case yet again. Oh my goodness, it's not over yet. Let's dive into the details right now. In addition to the FTC case, there have been some updates about the, the CMA and where they're at currently. I'll get to that near the end of the video, but first let's look at what is happening here. So the FTC is planning to resume its administrative case against Microsoft's proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition soon. This in the administrative case will commence 21 days after the Ninth Circuit rules on the FTC's appeal. The administrative hearing will be held virtually. So I guess we get to watch it again. Here's what it says. We're going to skip all this stuff. But on December 8, 2022, the commission issued an administrative complaint seeking to block the acquisition of Activision Blizzard by Microsoft on June 12, 2023. Commission staff filed a complaint in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California. We know about all that. The district court held a hearing and denied the request for an injunction. On July 12th, the commission noticed an appeal of the district court's decision and briefing on the appeal is nearly complete. On July 18, 2023, respondents in the administrative proceeding filed a motion to withdraw this proceeding from an adjudication. Pursuant to whatever the commission rules of practice, the matter was withdrawn from education and all proceedings before the administrative law judge were stayed. See order withdrawing matter. Tech words I don't get. Anyway, of the commission rules by practice. Da, 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 da. The order was issued before the evidentiary hearing before the administrative law judge was scheduled to begin on August 2nd, 2023. The commission has determined that the public interest warrants this matter to be resolved fully and expediously. Therefore, the commission is returning this matter to education. Somebody's got to tell me how to say that word. Uh, education? Come on, Hoke. Somebody in the comments tell me. I, I know there's a fancy way to say it. Anyway, the evidentiary hearing in this proceeding shall commence 21 days after the United States Court of Appeals of the Ninth Circuit issues its opinion regarding the appeal of the district court decision on the requested preliminary injunction. Chief Administrative Law Judge D. Michael Chappell has determined that the evidentiary hearing will be conducted virtually pursuant to Rule 3.41a. We have determined to make provision for appropriate public access. So, you know, I will be watching it. But here's the interesting thing. It's likely that they'll close before any of this ever happens. They are very close to closing the case anyway. So any sort of public hearing would would be broadcast anyway, but it, the deal is going to be done and the FTC just missed. They've already lost. This makes no sense. And they still have to get it improved by a judge who is already leaning towards it, you can actually, I actually have the um, original conversation where they were having that meeting about having the case that would take place afterwards. I'll link, that'll be the video that I linked to. I'll go find it and you can go listen. He's like, why are you having this case? So everywhere else in the world has approved. So they're setting themselves up for another loser. Uh, Rick Hogue said, he highlighted that the determination to continue a merger challenge in administrative litigation cannot be either automatic or indiscriminate. The evidence may or may not suggest that further proceeding would be in the public interest. The term determination must be made case by case. And he is citing the revisions to rules of practice from the federal register.gov. So long story short, like they still have to allow this case to proceed and They'll be presenting that in front of a judge and they're going to lose again. And if they if they don't, it will likely already be closed. <laughs> so there have been a few reactions to this. Uh, Lulu Chang Masurvi, who we've talked about many times on the channel, posted the following in response to questions about this. We're focused on working with Microsoft towards closing. How the FTC uses limited taxpayer resources is their decision. And this was about the renewal. And if you remember, Lulu Cheng Masurvi sat on trial and had her budget slashed immediately after. And the fact that they're choosing to go after Amazon, which Amazon's sort of its own beast. They, they kind of treat their workers poorly from what I've heard. And there's some issues there that they could pursue, but 
they keep losing their cases. I have said that there have been a few that are good, but like continuing to chase this one is a waste of their internal resources. And it's also like an unprecedented course of action, given what we outlined after the FTC trial, but maybe we get one more video out of it after it's all said and done. Uh, Lulu Ching Masurvi also tweeted, maybe, I don't know if you've heard, but you should subscribe to Dest. Oh wait, no, I'm just saying this. It's just me. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Hit that like button. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> if you're already subscribed, uh, continuing on, I wanna I wanna reverse time a little bit because, um, well, we're all talking about this this story. The U.S. FTC revives Microsoft Activision deal challenge. Uh, this is largely recapping what we just went over. The decision comes after a U.S. appeals court denied the FTC's bid to pause the acquisition in July. The companies are on target to complete the largest gaming deal ever in U.S. history after U.K. authorities sing signaled last week that they will accept the latest concessions. The FTC continues to believe that the deal is a threat to competition, said FTC spokesperson Victoria Graham. She said the agency is placing the issue on the commission's calendar, but our current focus is on the federal appeal process. It's it's just insane to me that the whole case, like this, the story is basically done uh, <laughs> and they're continuing to chase it. Uh, Here's another quote from Microsoft spokesperson. We still anticipate that we will close this transaction by April 18th, and we have full confidence in our case and the deal's benefits to gamers and competition, said Rebecca Doherty, a Microsoft's spokesperson. spokesperson. Uh, yeah, this is weird. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, by the way. There's a few other quotes in here. This is uh, after the jump, so I missed it. But um, here's, a, here's another one. I view it more as a Hail Mary attempt to disrupt the deal from closing, said uh, Daniel Ives over at Webbush Securities. The FTC and Lena Khan continue to fight a losing battle trying to extinguish this deal. We believe it's a matter of when, not if, the deal gets done. That's from Leah Nyland. It's interesting because all the analysts were saying the deal was dead. <laughs> and now, oh, well, I flipped, flipped the script a little bit. Uh, Michael Pactor, who we've had on the show, had an interview with uh, Yahoo Finance and he said the following, I wrote the quotes down. The FTC has zero leg to stand on, 0.0% chance of the FTC prevailing in a lawsuit. As dumb as I think Lena Khan might be, she's not dumb enough if she knows it's a 100% loser to try and break this company up. It's not going to happen. That was Michael Pactor on Yahoo Finance five days before the FTC challenged the case yet again. <laughs> what are they doing over there? So in addition to all this happening, there was a bit of news about the CMA. I just I just wish the FTC knew when to take an L and stop wasting taxpayer money. It's it's a loser. Continue with the Amazon case. I feel like there's a little bit of a, a leg to stand on there. But here, let's go back to what's going on with the CMA for a second. We are encouraged by this positive development in the CMA's review process. We presented solutions that we believe fully address the CMA's remaining concerns related to cloud game streaming, and we will continue to work towards earning approval to close prior to the October 18th deadline. Now, this was a reaction from way back on September 21st. I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to make videos as frequently as I like. Uh, explaining how the CMA has outlined that they're basically going to approve the merger likely in October. When in October, it could take as long as uh, through the end deadline of the event, or it could be a little sooner. But Lulu Ching Masurvi, hi again. Uh, she tweeted the following, the CMA's preliminary approval is great news for Activision Blizzard's future with Microsoft. We're glad the CMA has responded positively to the solutions Microsoft has proposed. And together, we'll continue to work towards completing the regulatory review process. And then she had an email. Thank God somebody else uses dark mode, by the way. Like we could go read it on, on the actual website. Ah, I have this little tool that I use sometimes there. Okay. <laughs> There we go. So, so we'll use the, the dark tool that I have installed in my browser because I hate blinding light. Here's, here's the email Bobby Kotick sent out to employees. Team, I want to share an important update on our planned merger with Microsoft. Today, the UK Regulatory Authority, the CMA, issued a preliminary approval. And this is from the 21st. This isn't a new update, by the way. This is just what Bobby Kotick said to everybody. So don't get, don't get too excited. But anyway, they issued a preliminary approval of our merger with Microsoft based on the solutions Microsoft presented in connection with its new merger application. This approval is critical to complete our merger. 
The next step is for the CMA to gather, gather third party feedback, after which the CMA will reach a final decision. As I said, when we announce the deal, this transaction will help us accelerate our ambitions for the future of gaming and enable us to better serve our players. Microsoft recognizes the commitment to excellence and creative independence that has served us well for the last 30 years. I am confident that their resources, technology, and tools will provide us even greater opportunities to create even better games. This is a significant milestone for the merger and a testament to our solutions-oriented work with regulators. I remain optimistic as we continue the journey towards completion and i'm very grateful to each of you for your dedication and focus throughout the process as the regulators continue with their process i will keep you updated on our progress towards our expected closing with gratitude bobby so that was bobby codex reaction and uh that's sort of everything now i've had those open for a long time i wanted to talk about it because look the F, it's a good time to bring it up because the FTC is about to bring this again towards administrative judge who I, I'll link to it at the end of the video also, who basically was questioning, what are you doing already? And now they're going to bring just a slam dunk loser, as Michael Pack calls it, to him. And the judge is going to throw it out. I don't understand why the FTC is doing this. Truly, I don't. I they They've lost. They've lost again. And they're going to just waste more time and money when there are other cases that deserve appropriate attention right now. Like, I'm, you know, I thought it was dumb that they brought the original case, but yeah. All right. I got to go. My son just woke up. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to know when my content goes live. If you're not a member yet, become a member by clicking that join button. I got to go. Bye.